Welcome to Add a Little Dazzle. We're so excited to be here with you to share information about your most frequently asked questions about Add a Little Dazzle metal sheets. Since the inception of Add a Little Dazzle metal sheets to our blog, we have received thousands of emails asking us questions about using metal sheets. In today's video, I'm going to answer your burning questions. So let's get started. One of the first questions we always get asked is what size are our metal sheets? Our metal sheets measure 9 by 12 and we have some colors that are available in 5 by 7. All these metal sheets come with the color on top on one side and the other side is aluminum. So if you ever want to use aluminum, you can just use the back side of this metal sheet. Now another question we often hear is what gauge of metal are your sheets? Our sheets are 40 gauge. Now when talking about gauge with metal, the higher the number is, the thinner the metal is. The lower the number is, the thicker the metal is. And so this is 40 gauge metal. It is four times thicker than aluminum foil. And so when you emboss this piece, it will beautifully keep your embossed image on the surface. Another question we receive is if our metal has adhesive on the back and the answer is no. There's no adhesive on the back of our metal sheets. Now we do carry out a little dazzle metal tape sheets and those do have a white film on back. You just peel it off and you can attach this to your surface. So metal tape sheets do have adhesive on them, but metal sheets do not have adhesive on back of them. Another question that we often hear is, do I need special materials to cut my metal sheets? No, you don't. You use the regular materials that you have. You can use a paper cutter, you can use a guillotine, you can even cut through with punches and just regular scissors and I'm going to show you that right here and I do have a video on my website that teaches you how to cut metal sheets so you want to make sure to check that video out. As you can see I've cut through the metal very easily. Here's another piece that I've cut through with a pair of scissors and I can even cut through with a punch. As you can see it is very easy to cut through the metal sheet. Now, can you cut yourself with the metal sheet? Well, you have about as much chance of cutting yourself with a metal sheet as you do of getting a paper cut. So sometimes we get a paper cut, sometimes we don't. I got my package in the mail, you put on there, don't bend, but the postmaster still bend it, or um, my child got a hold of the metal sheet, it got bended, I didn't notice, I put it in the bag, and I bend it, and now, my metal is destroyed. No, it's not. Just unbend the corners and leave it just like that. Take your brayer and go over it and voila, it's fine. Don't worry about those little bumps that you might see there because honestly, when you emboss them, you will not be able to see them. I use my scraps all the time that are completely, I mean completely wrinkled. I go over them with my brayer, I put them in my embossing folder, and you cannot tell that it was wrinkled. So don't let that scare you. Many times people have asked, are the metal sheets magnetic? No, they're not. And so people also ask me, well, I've embossed the image on here, and I see that you do that silver effect on the metal. How do I get that effect? All you need is a sanding block and go over it in a circular motion and clean off the residue with a microfiber cloth and that's it. Now if you have a small piece where there has um, intricate areas then you want to go in a straight motion like that and that will make sure that the metal doesn't crinkle and you don't get into the small areas that could bend. And so like I said before, our metal sheets are 40 gauge. They're four times thicker than aluminum foil. And aluminum foil is much thinner and it's not going to withstand the use on a projects like you see on Add a Little Dazzle. And so oh, that is why this is the best metal to use and if you want to use the aluminum side then you have that on your other side. Flashing is much thicker than metal sheets and because of that there's limited use and it's not available in an assortment of colors and here at Add a Little Dazzle we have 18 metal sheet colors and more new colors coming in. So 
there's a lot of versatility with the color colors that we offer and also we have a new feature in our add a little dazzle store and that's that in the description where each metal sheet color is we have a guide that tells you which stamping up color this metal sheet coordinates with so we've taken out the guesswork for you we've done all the work and we've given you a list of all the colors in the stamping up color families that coordinate with each metal color many people want to know how do I create my pieces what machine do I use? I use my Big Shot. That's my favorite Stampin' Up! product. And I can use it with my Big Styes. I can use it with my Embosslets, with my Sizzlets, with my Impressions folder. And this product, this Big Shot and all its accessories help you to create beautiful, beautiful pieces for your paper crafting needs. Now, now another question that I'm asked is, can I heat emboss on the metal? Can I stamp on the metal and heat emboss on it? Yes, you can, but be very careful because the metal will get hot. And so because of that, you want to handle it very carefully. I'd put a little clothespin on the side and heat emboss it step by step. You will also want to use your embossing buddy over it before you stamp. So when you put the embossing powder, it won't stick to the, to the metal. And if it does, just take a little paintbrush and clean it off little by little and then heat emboss it carefully again put a clothespin attached to it so another question is how do I attach my metal to my projects my favorite product is the sticky strip this is my lifesaver I have tons of this and anytime that you're working with metal and you're attaching it to something you're always going to use sticky strip and I put it along the four walls and I attach it. I don't need to work, worry about the center unless there's going to be a hole there, but there's no hole then. I'm just going to put it in the four walls and attach it. I can also use multi-purpose adhesive sheets, but honestly, the best thing is this. This is going to be much more sturdy. A lot of people also want to know, I want to offer a class with metal sheets. Can I do that? Yes, you can. And the great thing is we have an excellent bulk buy program that is for everybody, for both demonstrators and non-demonstrators. It's all the same bulk by program and we're really excited to be able to offer you that feature. We do ship outside of the United States. We currently ship to Australia and to Canada at a Little Dazzle product. If you are in another country and would like to order at a Little Dazzle products, please contact me at monica at addalittledazzle.com and we'll find out the rate for your country and get the metal sheets shipped out to you. If you have any other questions about using metal sheets, I invite you to visit us at www.addalittledazzle.com for daily inspiration. Thanks so much and have a dazzling day.